Hey folks, Bob Desmond here over at The Contrarian Trader, and I just want to spend a couple of minutes talking about what I'm seeing this evening on the charts. Uh, we had uh, the president escalate the trade tensions over the weekend. The Chinese retaliated. Uh, we're seeing weakness in the futures, and no shock here. But what is really uh, mind-boggling is not so much the futures, it's expected. This is a weekly chart. Let's drill down here. Let's just go to a five-minute chart for a moment. You can see uh, that we're just weak and getting weaker. And when you take a look at, at the dollar, I mean, this thing is just on a tear. And also, when you take a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin just ripped through the ceiling today, and it's up nearly 8.5%, $820 at current, back above the 10,000 level, well above it, at current last tick, 10,525 on Bitcoin, and it's digesting the gains, okay? So it gapped up higher, it's not giving any back, it's just consolidating. This is a strong chart, and granted, it's a five-minute chart, but, you know, Pull back to a four-hour chart. I feel more comfortable with a chart like this. And yes, we're overbought relative to the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. But all we need to do here, folks, is trade sideways. And then we continue higher. Much as what we did back here. We stayed extended above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. And we consolidated, rallied, and then ultimately we double topped out and rolled over but it looks as though we are rebuilding this rally yet again in bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies are up as well so what is going on here i'm going to chalk it up to a few geopolitical issues that are transpiring right now and the market's snipping them out i always talk about u.s debt uh, government debt corporate debt global debt it's out there it's for real I don't know that that's the issue right now. I think that primary problem number one is Hong Kong. Two, Brexit. Three, Argentina. Four, a potential conflict with Iran. And then on the back burner, but by far the worst of all is the debt crisis that is emerging now. Now, the market's sniffing stuff out here. They're sniffing out problems. And I checked the headlines. There's nothing really... Uh, frightening in the headlines this evening and when you take a look at bitcoin on a weekly basis you know this is just a beautiful beautiful setup here on bitcoin so weekly chart it looks as though we are really consolidating gains and once this rips once this breaks out we're going to multi-year highs on Bitcoin. Now, what I'm looking for as well, let's first check out the 10-year bond. Let's clear all this up. So the 10-year bond is down a bit. A heck of a run here. Again, this is a weekly chart. Now, taking a look at gold, you can see that last week we flashed a bearish key reversal. Very bearish stuff. It can be overcome, but it's going to take some doing. It's going to take volume. Like we saw a similar chart pattern right here, right? And the following week, we were able to fight through it. Can we do it this time? Volume is still good. Uh, I'm not going to discount it. We haven't yet taken out last week's lows. So there's a good possibility that we proceed higher. What's going to hamper gold right now is the strength of the U.S. dollar, right? Because gold is priced in U.S. dollars. If the dollar strengthens, gold gets cheaper in dollar terms. In Aussie dollar terms, uh, gold is at all-time highs. So I think that if we get a pullback in the dollar, gold will continue to rip this week. Taking a look at silver, we are long of the gold miners. I'll just throw that out there. Just so you don't think this guy's talking his book or not talking his book. All right, so taking a look at silver now. Silver is up a little over three-quarters of a percentage point. We're flirting with a new high. So we'll take our crayon out. And there you have a nice tight consolidation. So 
Uh, while we're overbought on a weekly basis relative to the two standard deviation Bollinger Band, not the three, uh, we could break out even further here on silver. So silver relative to gold is outperforming gold now, if you can believe that. Only, only, it was only a couple of weeks ago when we owned USLV, which is the leveraged ETF for silver, that silver was way undervalued relative to the price of gold. That's why we liked it besides the technicals. Now, it has played catch up with gold and it is certainly behaving uh, on par with it, if not better. So I'm liking silver here. We'll be looking for an entry point on silver fairly soon, but we want to see a breakout. And that's it for tonight, folks. I just wanted to go over some interesting charts. Uh, something's going on out there. Uh, before I shut off, we're having a Labor Day special. You'll see the uh, you'll see the coupon codes in front of you. Uh, click the link below. We're all out of gold level memberships. We still have a few uh, titanium level memberships, and I think two silver level. So jump on those. And I'm closing out the offer tomorrow being Tuesday. Everybody have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.